Hi everyone, welcome to the Word at One on this Monday afternoon. So we're gonna do the Words at One this week in front of our office Christmas tree. So I've showed this to you before, but our office Christmas tree is lit every single day, reminding us of the light of Christ. And also now that it's officially October, that means we can watch Christmas movies and we can get ready for Christmas. And this week we're gonna be talking about words. And the sermon yesterday was about the words that come out of our mouth and how it really stems from the heart and how we have to be careful with our words. And the words that we use can bring light to people's lives or they can bring darkness. They can cloud who God is. So we have to be very, very careful about our words. And so this week we're gonna be looking at how God used different people to speak words of blessing throughout scripture. So in the Old Testament, the king of Moab is afraid of the Israelite people. And so he hires a prophet to speak curses over the Israelites. But then the prophet goes and speaks to the Lord and the Lord says, just tell the words that I give you and they're only words of blessing. And the king is just hopping mad. He's so upset. He said, I have hired you to give curses. And Balaam says, well, the only thing that I can give are blessings. That's the only thing that God will let me speak. So I just place a blessing on these people. And so oftentimes when we're in situations maybe where we feel like we want to say things that will bring harm to someone else. We want to say things that are going to expose someone else. We want to say things that are going to kind of be, not a curse, but are going to be, you know, I'm going to really show them their place. The Lord wants to remind us over and over again that the first thing that to come, on our, come out of our mouths with those around us, we are, as the family of God or even outside of the family of God, is blessing. So that our words, like these beautiful lights, are a light in this dark world. So let's find a way, prayerfully, to speak blessing today when those may not be the words that we want to have come out of our mouths. I'll see you all tomorrow.